Sometimes sharing your faith can be hard. It can be hard to strike up a conversation with a complete stranger at the grocery store. It can be hard to invite a coworker to church. Sometimes the scariest thing ever can be asking a classmate or a coworker to come out to a Bible discussion. There are some times when sharing my faith takes me through the entire gamut of emotions. This one time I was sharing my faith on campus and I invited out this young woman. And she said, well, I just moved to get married. So, you know, maybe going to a Bible discussion would be really good. And I said, oh, congratulations. How long have you been married? And she said, yeah, it's been a few months. <laughs> Although sometimes I wish he was dead. Okay, well, we're gonna have our Bible discussion in the atrium. Love to, love to have you out. One of the first times I ever shared my faith with a complete stranger was when I had just become a disciple. And I'll never forget it. I went up to this one girl and I was like, hi, my name is da da da. And she looked at me like, and then she said, sorry, I don't have any change. Knock, knock, who's there? These hands. I was like, I'm trying to help you. I'm going out of my way, trying to help you know the Lord. And you think I'm trying to get some change? When these types of situations happen, I have to remember why I share my faith. If it's based upon the person I'm reaching out to, whether or not they reject or humiliate me, of course I won't do it. My motivation to share my faith has gotta come from my gratitude and my love for God. When people reject me when I share my faith, one scripture that I always think of is Luke 10, verse 16. Jesus basically is saying, whoever rejects you, rejects me. And whoever rejects me, rejects the one who sent me. And so if I share my faith, I've gotta remember, if someone rejects me, it's not personal. It actually has nothing to do with me. And whether they know it or not, they're rejecting Jesus and ultimately rejecting God. If I'm sharing my faith for me or to make myself feel good or to feel better about my Christianity or because I have to, I'm not gonna share. And that also reminds me of Philippians 2, 3, 4. The Bible says, don't do anything out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility, you consider others better than yourself. And you look out for the interests of others before your own. I share my faith because it helps keep me humble. It reminds me I'm not the only one that needs a relationship with God. If this video has helped you at all, feel free to like it, feel free to share it. If you want a deeper Bible study, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to connect. Come to church with me and maybe we can study the Bible. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. What did they want to do that? It was interesting. I mean, when she said that she wished her husband was dead, I was like... I'm trying to say I don't have any change. Share it if you like it. Like it. Like it if you share it. Share it. Really?